So for this week's video, I'm starting on a new project, which will probably turn into a mini series here, which is essentially to make an action camera like uh, system with the Raspberry Pi. And uh, for this week, just using a regular USB uh, webcam. The goal of this project is just to basically see how good and how powerful a system we can make with Raspberry Pi Zero. Obviously, I'll be using action cameras like the GoPro and others as reference, but I will be planning to build all my own tools and just set the system up myself just to see what can we do, what can we achieve, and maybe even make some stuff that the other cameras don't necessarily have. So for this week's video, I'll be mostly focusing on getting the initial setup of stuff and just doing some basic proof of concepts. I'll be utilizing FFmpeg for the video conversion, so actually taking the video off of the USB camera and saving it on disk, as well as actually for streaming, which I actually did get set up and working. So that will be the basic backbone of the system. And I also do plan on implementing some other tools and features down the line, but for now I'll be basically just sticking with FFmpeg and simple GPIO pins to control it all. So anyways, let's get into what I did this week and go over the progress I've made and where I plan to go to next. So first of all, what you see in the background right now is me simply just trying to get Python code, which is what I'm controlling this all with, to run FFmpeg and use some basic GAPIO pins to control it, so a start stop button mainly. I played around with FFmpeg for quite a while, basically messing around with the command and arguments to get them perfect since the CPU on this Raspberry Pi Zero is not very powerful. Getting those arguments and command perfect is very crucial. And in the end, I did get it working. I got it to run and capture at 1080p, 30fps, only utilizing about 50% of the CPU. So that is perfect and it's exactly what I need for this to work. And I think it's the perfect target point to get this project to go for. From there, I played around with the GPIO Zero, which is a library for the Raspberry Pi to control Python code based upon GPIO. So when you run the program, that light will turn on. You can go ahead and push the button. It will turn the light to red to signal the recording, and the uh, blue light on the camera will turn on to signify that the camera is on and running and capturing video. I also went ahead and implemented a Flask server, so when the Raspberry Pi starts up, it'll actually start up a Flask uh, web server that you connect to, and I use a proof of concept of this switch here to when I flip it, it changes the code on the server to return a different result on the page. This is what it basically would use in the future to be able to interface with the Raspberry and control various features uh, when you're out in the field and recording that way. Another key aspect of this project is powering it, as I plan to power this off of a simple USB uh, battery bank. So keeping the amperage low, that way the battery bank lasts for longer and doesn't actually overload it because the power bank can only provide a certain amount of power is key. And as you can see here, idle, it only uses about uh, 0.2 amps. And then as you can see here, it is actually on and powered. The camera is recording and it's only using about half an amp. So given that I have a cheap $3 battery bank that provides 2,600 milliamp hours of power, that one amp max capacity or one amp max output of this is big. And the fact that it only uses half an amp of power means I think I can power this for about three hours while it's recording, which is actually fantastic for given how cheap this uh, battery bank is. So the next part was to actually test the video and compare the webcam with my GoPro session I have. Now, I was a little bit uh, rushed to do this all because the weather around here has not been too great and obviously with everything going around, I don't have the uh, easy enough ability to go out and test this. So I had to pick to this day in particular just because it was actually a nice day out, it was warm, there was no rain, and unfortunately it was very windy so the audio will come in a little bit later, but it's pretty windy so just be aware of that. But Anyways, I needed to test the video, and this is on the left, the GoPro Session 4, on the right is the webcam. Unfortunately, after I got back, I realized that the webcam, while it has good video, is severely out of focus. So, do your best you can to ignore the out of focus part and just look at the actual stream or uh, video quality as a whole. So, I start off with actually trying to mount them uh, up on a pole-ish. Uh, unfortunately, there's netting behind it, and because again of the wind, it was really shaking around the pole and all of that. So, uh, it's I ended up moving it, 
but it does help to have them on the pole because it is because of it shaking it you can see the two different stabilizations of the two cameras as you see here again now i'm coming into view so obviously you see the left gopro has a much wider angle than me uh, than the uh, webcam on the right does um, and again you can see there's the focus issue but ignoring the focus the video quality of them both actually do look pretty good now I would argue that the GoPro looks a little bit better but I can't say if it looks better just because of the focus or not but one more smaller thing you'll see right here is there's a cloud going across the rink there playing around with the uh, auto brightness auto sensitivity of the camera um, the GoPro seemed to handle that a little bit better but also the camera or the cloud kind of darkened a smaller portion of the area than the webcam did Again, these are all stuff I would kind of have to play around with and adjust in the future. But uh, for a very first try, this was actually pretty good. So now again, I know I'm asking for kind of a lot to compare these, especially because of the focus issue on the webcam. But the biggest thing to look for is just the image quality. And by image quality, I mean there's no pixelation on the moving objects. And other than that, just how these cameras react to different things such as light changes, such as vibration, and anything that would kind of set apart an action camera like the GoPro from our Raspberry Pi camera we're doing here. Now all things considered, I actually think this is a very good first run and a very good proof of concept. I do plan in the future to try and move over to the actual Raspberry Pi camera that these Raspberry Pi Zeros can support. I'm hoping that uh, this will fix the whole focus issue and I believe that you can actually find them with uh, kind of fish eye lenses like the GoPro here has, which should also really kind of make these two much more comparable. So anyways, stick with me. These next few videos I'm hoping to kind of dial it in, narrow it down, and try to make these actually much more comparable than they were before. Again, for the very first video, very first proof of concept, I think this is actually pretty good. Now, before I leave it there, one more thing I am doing is I'm actually making a case to hold this all. So I am trying to relearn my knowledge of CAD software, which is taking me quite a while, and it's making things a little more difficult, but I am planning to make a case for this and trying to make this a more kind of compact design and again, really trying to make this a cheap DIY version of an action camera and just seeing what we can do comparison wise. So anyways, I hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I am very excited to get into it. Just all the different aspects uh, that this combines, such as the electrical, the camera and software work, even the uh, web server that I'm putting on this is just all really exciting to put it all together to make kind of one bigger project and honestly just push the limits of this Raspberry Pi Zero. It's been very fun and uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it as well. So until next time, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.